Oh, this is a piece of you. Uh, this is English you, um, which is very springy, and you've got the pale sapwood underneath there that forms the outside curve of the boat. It's very good at resisting tension. Do you not take the sapwood off the product? No, you leave that on uh, because that is, I say, it's a very essential part of the wood. It, it right. resists the tension forces. So if you took all that away, all you'd have is the orange heart wood, it which it, it would probably snap, yeah. And now just shaping it, I'm going to cut a groove in it, which will hold the, hold the bowstring. That's great, yeah. And then I'll do the same with the other end. Excellent. And then the bow will be sanded down so it's nice and smooth, varnished with two or three coats of varnish. And then the hand will put on and then it'll be ready for the customer. Great. So this is what time period with this for? Uh, uh, this is going to be sort of Victorian. Okay. So it's not it's not a medieval bow that oh, no. would have been used at Agincourt. It's a sporting bow. Okay. Uh, and this one's for actually a, a young girl. So oh, it's okay. not going to be a heavy draw weight bow. <laughs> no, it's absolutely, going to yeah. be yes, a, a lightweight target Yeah. Bow. down a few inches at the top and then leave it and then we'll do a few inches at the bottom. Thank <laughs> you. 